Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Well, hello ladies, gentlemen, and everyone watching. This is Running On Empty Food Review. I am your host, the report of the week, and welcome one and all. I hope you're doing okay today. Hope everything is at least going smooth enough for you, and I hope you're having a pleasant day. We are here. Yes, yes indeed, we are somehow back at it again. Uh, we're here. We're trying out a new release, well at this point it's a fairly new release, from Wendy's. This has been highly requested. Uh, I've actually gotten so many comments, so many emails, so many messages, and at this point in time I am left wondering, is this going to be the burger that changes everything? You have to go all the way back to 2013 for this burger to even, even be on the radar. Wendy's back then released, I think it was just called the Pretzel Burger or something to that extent. And I tried it out. And I hated it. I really did. I despised it. I tried that burger out back in 2013, and I said, I can't stand it. I thought it was disgusting. I thought it was dreadful. And, uh, that was that. Well, I don't think my viewpoint then was a very popular one, because a lot of people loved it, and it's back. And I figured, you know what? Look. I think this is a different burger. I think they kind of are taking some of the similar um, ingredients and ideas, you know, from uh, how it was in 2013 and 2014. They're taking it, they're maybe making it better or worse, I don't know, I haven't tried it yet. And uh, they brought it back. Now, it's been so many years since I tried it. Look, maybe I just didn't like it then, maybe I got a bad one, I really don't know. But a lot of people seem to have loved it. And lots and lots of people are excited that it's back. And they're saying, hey, you gotta try this, Review bra. I thought 2020 was just a terrible year, and this is what's making it better. So we're gonna see. Is this, is this really a life-changing burger? We will find out. It's the Pretzel Bacon Pub Cheeseburger from Wendy's. It's got a lot of ingredients on it, so we're gonna get to that in a minute. Uh, one thing that I just wanted to do real quick, because this is part of my Patreon, and it just helps keep everything going. You know, that's what there is. Uh, one tier that I have is I'll give uh, I'll give people shout outs. I could give you a shout out um, Promote something just say hi, you know, then you could point you say review bra He said hi to me and all of that um, But I do these shout outs uh, usually on a monthly basis. It just helps keep everything going, but if you're interested in that you can um, Check it out at patreon.com slash the report of the week, um, but just give it a listen. This helps keep everything going uh, children's literature author S.E. Sprocker is giving away autographed copies of her action-adventure book, Chewy Marmot, to five lucky winners. If you want one, all you have to do is log on to the Goodreads website and type in giveaways and look for the book Chewy Marmot. There we go, I know I mispronounced it the first time. And uh, sign up to win. It's that easy. Contest ends at midnight on October 12th, and it's open to anyone residing in the U.S. and Canada. Adults are loving this book. There's something special about it. Thousands have requested it, but only five can win. Good luck. So there we go. Check it out, though. Um, she's really helped out this channel, and uh, again, shoutouts like that. It's fun. It helps, um, you know, promote stuff, but it keeps everything moving. And I uh, hope you could check it out if that's, if that's of interest to you. Now on to the, the review. Okay. This burger has everything. Now you see, I did the dramatic lean on the table into the camera a little bit to show that I mean business. That this is serious business, right? I'm at the little bit of an angle, so, so this is proof that this does have everything, okay? Maybe not. <laughs> Either way, here's what this burger has. It has a huge amount of ingredients, though. It comes with a quarter pound beef patty, warm beer cheese sauce, bacon, smoky honey mustard sauce, Crispy fried onions, pickles, Munster cheese, and then, as they say, an extra soft pretzel bun. On the ad, it says, come for the bun, stay for everything else. You can get this. I got it for $5.39. Uh, other individuals have said that they've got it around the $6 range or $5 range, but to me it seems, again, somewhere between the $5 and $6 uh, range. But, um, yeah, you know, show up for, for as they say, that, a bun and um, then stay for everything else. So it's the bun that captivates people, you know, what, what the corporate says, and this was a big trend years ago, you know, among, among those pesky millennials, right, as they say in the boardroom, uh, 
obviously you had the trend years ago where sriracha was the big thing. Before that, pretzel buns. That was the uh, that was a huge trend in fast food. They were saying, you know, you just put a pretzel bun on something, and all the consumers will flock toward it, you know, like a like a moth coming over to a, a bright light. But the pretzel buns, I've had them. Some of them were pretty good. Pretty good. Some weren't. It's just hit or miss type of stuff. It says, your break fast could have been free. So, it's kind of... I don't know, I feel like they're kind of rubbing it rubbing it in your face. It's like, yeah, your breakfast could have been free, but you paid for it anyway. <laughs> you know, that's just the impression that I get from that, but I don't mean to be that way. All right, here's the burger. You can see because of the lights, it's all shiny and reflective. To my understanding, it's got a lot on it. It's been heavily requested. We're going to unravel it. We're gonna see what we've got. All right, so here we are. Here we are. There it is. There I am with it. You could actually see the, for verification purposes, pretzel bun. There I am with it, right there. We're probably gonna do another thumbnail shot too, just in case people just wanna see the sandwich. I'm being honest with how we, we do things. All right, so there we go. We'll just do another one like this or something. You know, uh, you can see the big glob of the white stuff there. That is not marshmallow. I know some people are saying, oh, wow, you know, this is just like how it was when I'd go camping back in the good old days. You know, you get the burger and you put the marshmallow there and, you know, that is not marshmallow. All right, so I will tell you that. Um, but yeah, you can see it's got a lot on. You can see the beef patty. You can see the Munster cheese. You can see the onion strings. Uh, let's take the bun off. We got the pretzel bun. Okay, that must be the beer cheese sauce, if I imagine. Um, you got the pickles, there's some onions there, you got the sauce, the other sauce, I guess that's the honey mustard sauce on the top, right? And uh, I think we have visual on all the ingredients. Again, there's the other view of some of the other stuff. Pretzel bun looks a little thicker, so we'll see. But we're gonna try it out. Uh, we'll try to taste as many ingredients as we can, and that's what it comes down to. If, if this really is everything, I might short circuit, and that's going to be it. And I'm just going to kind of, you know, sit here and like, you know, like they unplugged me, and that's it. Because my brain won't be able to process it all, but we'll see. Pretzel bacon pub cheeseburger going in. I'm just going to pretend that I'm just down at the, down at the pub, having a pint, and uh, enjoying some, some pub food. <laughs> All right, it's going in. Can't really see it, but there's a table right here. You know, it's a table. Can't believe we're in October, you know? Can't believe it's the month of October already. Hmm. I don't know where the time goes. 2020, it's been such a crazy year, you know? It's crazy, crazy, crazy times. I'm gonna take one more bite and um, then we'll go from there. It 
So what I do for these items, now number one, if you're, I know I kept you sitting here for 10 minutes, that's good. So you can leave right now and that's, that's what it comes down to. Uh, you can just know that. Um, of all the things that are on this burger, I'll tell you what I can taste the most of and what I can't. Um, but honestly, look, for what it is, the abridged version is that it's good. I like it. This is so much better than what I remember the version of it that I had back in 2013. For some reason, I hated that thing. I was squirming around in the, the chair, I remember, and I was I was almost throwing it up on the camera. I couldn't, couldn't stand it. Um, but this is great. I like it, actually. Um, it's got so many ingredients, but they all blend together for the most part, and it all ends up being good. Uh, let's just go down the list. I'll tell you what I like, what I don't like, and we'll be quick. Number one, the quarter pound beef patty. I like it. It's very flavorful. It's very juicy. I mean, it's just cooked perfectly, and it's so flavorful. It's teeming with flavor. Um, I like it. You definitely taste it in every bite. It doesn't get lost in everything, and uh, that's great. So, a big uh, thumbs up for the beef patty. The one thing that I really couldn't ch uh, couldn't taste all that much was the warm beer cheese sauce. I can kind of taste it a tiny bit, but it is extremely mild, extremely light, and uh, that's the one thing there. It's like, I don't know why they were saying beer in it, because I cannot taste that. Maybe that was supposed to be where like the pub type of quality was coming from, but I just don't taste it. Bacon is good. Bacon is there. Nice, thick, crispy uh, slab of bacon. That's good. Adds that flavor. The smoky honey mustard sauce, I could certainly taste. And what I liked about that is, at least to me, sometimes with the honey mustard, it's like you can taste that little bit of the, um, you know, the sharpness of the mustard, but the sweetness isn't really there. This time I could definitively taste that honey, and uh, that sweetness was just a really, really nice uh, touch to this burger. The fried onions, again, added a little bit of flavor. I could taste that, gave a uh, crisp to it. The pickles also were a little, you know, they had that little bit of a crunch to them, a little bit of a sour note as well, but that was good. Uh, the Munster cheese, again, definitely gave it a little bit of a cheesiness. And um, the pretzel bun, look, right here. I'll, I'll roll it into a little ball to prove that it is indeed, you know, it's soft. It's a soft bun. Mm-hmm. little chewy but largely soft and uh, definitely does taste like that pretzel dough so overall to me it's just a tasty burger the pretzel bun is totally accurate i thought that the bun was going to be a little overwhelming and i thought that all the ingredients would be just a bit too much that it would end up as like this disgusting slop um but as a matter of fact it did not much better than i thought it would be my only complaint really is i wish that the beer cheese sauce could be tasted a bit more Otherwise, that's the, that's my only complaint. And even though I can't really taste it as much, I it doesn't necessarily detract from the sandwich. It's not like I'm sitting here thinking, if only I could taste that beer cheese sauce, right? I'm thinking, no, this is still good otherwise. So even without that, yeah, I could use that a little bit, but it's still a good burger. Uh, I like it. I'm impressed with it. I would get it again. Five, si uh, five to six dollar burger. Tastes good. Uh, I really don't have much bad to say about it. I mean, it's actually, it's good. 9 out of 10 rating. 9 out of 10 is what I'm going to give it because I like it. It's a good item. Uh, I was expecting the worst, but really, it it's much, much better than I thought. Uh, loaded with flavor and uh, good for what it is. Uh, again, only that one little uh, issue, but even that is not a critical flaw, if you ask me. So with that, that's all that I have for you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, the Report of the Week. Today we tried out the Pretzel Bacon Pub cheeseburger from Wendy's. That's all that I got. Thanks for watching and do take care and uh, see you next time. That's all.